up everybody welcome back to big boss gaming if you're new here make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button that notification bell that way you can stay up to date on everything when it comes to cod when it comes to other video games such as uh single player games multiplayer it doesn't matter i've got you covered here um so i kind of wanted to rant a little bit um you know if you watched i did the video review on uh uh, Modern Warfare 3. And there's some pros and there's some cons, obviously. I, this game has got me so twisted up. <laughs> so, oh man, where do I start? So, it got old pretty quick. We'll, we'll just put it that way. It's, it's really boring at this point, in my opinion. I've been playing the far out of it. It's, it's just... I don't know how to explain it. The maps is just, I, I never played the old CODs, okay? So so the people that don't know, I, I didn't play the old CODs. I played Modern Warfare 2 uh, back in December was the first time that I'd ever played it of uh, 2022. That's the first time I've ever played a Call of Duty franchise game. Um, so I, I didn't have the experience with the others. Um, and the reason I say that is these are supposedly old maps, which... I enjoyed them a little bit, and now it's just, it's it's gotten old. But now I will say this, I'm not a huge multiplayer fan. I, I really enjoy Warzone, Resurgence, uh, things of that nature. Uh, Plunder, I'll play it all, it don't matter. Put me on a big map, small map, it don't matter as long as it's BR type, uh, you know, gameplay. Well, the biggest thing that I want to talk about is is what a lot of people are talking about, is the skill-based matchmaking. Oh, man, where do I start with this? I've even got to chew a tobacco in to talk about this, get my nerves wore down. So, skill-based matchmaking. There, There's a bunch of varied opinions. I mean, some people like it, some people don't. Me, personally, so far, Modern Warfare 2 it wasn't that bad, in my opinion. Um... It just wasn't. I, I never reverse boosted or, or did any of that mess. I just played the game as it was. Never had an issue with it. Um, the only issues that I really, really struggled from was um, a lot of ping issues, server issues, you know, just the typical stuff you hear people talk about. That shouldn't be in this video game to begin with since it's a billion dollar company making this stuff, which is crazy to me. There's no reason I should have packet burst. There's no reason. There's no reason the server should, should just lose connection. But with the skill-based matchmaking in Modern Warfare 3, you can feel it. You can feel it. And it, if I don't know how to explain it. it. It feels like something else is going on. And what I mean by that is, and you'll see like some in the gameplay, it's like you know, three or four shots are you know, is killing the enemies. Which is normal, because every shot you see on me, three or four, and I, I'm dead. Um, it starts out that way, and then it's like you start doing really good, and then it's taking like half a clip to drop these guys. And it's just it's ridiculous. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know if it's a ping issue or, or what. I mean, typically I get anywhere from... You know, like a 13 to anywhere from a 13 millisecond all the way up to a 50 millisecond ping. Which, by the way, this is the biggest issue that I have with the skill-based matchmaking that I can confirm. There is no reason to sacrifice ping just to put me in a higher skill level bracket lobby, okay? There is no way the fight could ever be fair. You got to think, if you're playing, if you're, let's just say you're a 1.0 KD player, okay? You're, you're the average 1.0 KD player. And you're playing against other players that's anywhere from a 1 to a 2 KD. Your ping is 60 milliseconds, so that's the best lobby they could find to put you in. Uh, based on the skill-based matchmaking algorithm. Your ping's 60 milliseconds. And the guys you're fighting is anywhere from like five to twenty. You're not gonna have a fair fight. There's no way. There's no way you can. 
You, the only way you're going to catch these guys is by shooting them in the back. That's it. That's it. That's the only way that you can defeat a lobby when when you've got a ping that high. There, there's just no way that it's possible. So that is the biggest issue that I have with skill-based matchmaking. Now, the other issue that I found with Modern Warfare 3 that I absolutely can't stand is driving me batty. It's got me to the point where I just don't really even care to play the game right now. Um, I do just to keep my aim, you know, on point and stuff, but there is something going on with... I, I'm, not, I'm not getting the notification for packet burst anymore. It's not even showing up the little orange boxes. But it's like I'm getting packet burst. It's like the frames are dropping. Something's going on. It, it has gotten so bad in my gameplay. It has cost me so many gunfights that I've <laughs> I've completely went to play in the Metal Gear Solid collection. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 1 and then I'm enjoying it a lot more than this. I, I don't I don't understand how they missed the ball with this. Uh, they they have to know what's going on. There's no way they can't know what's going on because so many people are talking about it. Packet burst issues and the frames dropping and the inconsistency in the gunfights, the high pings, the skill-based matchmaking, especially sacrificing your ping, which is ridiculous. There's, there's no way that that makes sense. There's nobody in this world where you can sacrifice ping and say that this that makes complete sense. It just doesn't make sense at all. There's no reason. No reason at all. Um, but that's that's the worst part of it. it, it the, I mean, they, they've got the armory unlock system now, and I understand why they got the armory unlock system. Let me, let me tell you guys exactly why they have the armory unlock system, in case you don't know. They knew the game was going to crash. They knew that this was not going to be just the bee's knees that everybody wants to play. Okay, you can look at the numbers. The player counts dropped horribly. There may be more players. There may be players playing longer, the ones that are playing. But there's not more players playing. It, it's crashed. And they knew it was going to crash. They don't care. They made a bunch of money off of it quick, and it is what it is. But the reason that they're doing the armory unlock and all this new stuff is to keep players engaged longer. Okay, you've got to win this many matches, do these challenges and stuff to unlock these guns and this attachment and this and that. That That's the only reason they're doing it. I mean, it's, it's crazy, man. And from a marketing standpoint, for those of you that don't know, I used to bass fish full time and with sponsors and stuff that's one of the things that I had to present to them that I could market their products that's all they're doing they're, they're basically just marketing this crap call it what it is but it is crap yeah they gave us better movement yeah they gave us some pretty neat guns but that's about it man we paid 70 bucks for a finished game, and it's not finished. And I will say, a lot of us know better. Me, personally, I was hoping um, that it would be better than Modern Warfare 2, and so far, it's not. The only thing that's better is the movement, in my opinion. That's it. And when I say movement, the slide canceling. That's it. The prone is even slower. The throwing knives throw slower. The throwing stars throw slower. The crossbows, they shoot slower. I mean, it's just it's just so much inconsistency. I, I don't understand what was going on. I don't know what was going through their minds. I don't know who approved it or whatever. But the game needed more time. The game needed testing. The game needed a lot. It needed a lot. And we paid $70 to test this game for them, pretty much, is what we've done. And I hate it for us, but you live and you learn. But now coming up, December the 6th is when Warzone's going to drop. So, hopefully, hopefully, cross your fingers, there's not as many issues with that. That's the only thing that I'm looking forward to. I understand it's a free game, but 
I'm really looking forward to it. I hope it's a whole lot better. But anyways, drop down there in the comments and let me know what you think about it. What, what has been your experience? Are you experiencing a lot of inconsistency in gunfights? When you're using the same weapons as these other guys and they're dropping four rounds and you go straight down and they, then all of a sudden you have to put, you know, 12, 13 rounds in these guys to drop them. Uh, how's the skill-based matchmaking treating you? Let me, let me know exactly what you think about it. Like I said, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but at the same time, I got to be real with y'all. This ain't a game you want to buy right now. Just wait. Just wait. So... I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. It would help me out a whole lot. Share the content. Appreciate it.